Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today we're gonna tie a um, Chernobyl ant, uh, famous uh, pattern for uh, people who have been fishing in the Kola, uh, Kola Island out of Russia, uh, and also probably around America and uh, other places. And uh, it's quite popular here in Norway as well. Uh, and it's been really popular for sea trout and for salmon here in Norway now. Um, it's kind of a blast the last couple of years, even that the pattern is an old pattern, and uh, this is of course a variant um, of the fly. Um, I tie it in two different colors usually, uh, orange and uh, chartreuse, um, with always the black um, top body. Um, the materials we're going to use is uh, three millimeter foam. Not that easy to see, I guess. This is from uh, uh, hairline, three millimeter. The reason I use three millimeter is because um, I think the two millimeter uh, can break pretty easy when you tie it in. It's pretty easy that it uh, uh, splits up, etc. So we're gonna tie in the three millimeter. Um, yeah, and uh, I'm using as I said chartreuse for some bodies, orange for some. I can show you a couple of. But this here. Here we have three dif different bodies orange, black, and chartreuse. The black is always uh, a part of the fly, um, so I, us I usually tie it like this. You have the orange at the bottom and the black at the top. Or I tie it with the chartreuse at the bottom and the black at the top. Like this. To make these bodies, um, you have to. Uh, uh, you can buy some different tools. Uh, I have a tool here with this is the large one for the big flies so on the hook size four to yeah more popular two four and six I guess. And the medium one is for uh, eight uh, eight flies ten ten maybe. Um, but well, it looks like this shaped like a body and it's like a scalpel and this is the rubber uh, path you have under so we just uh, I can show an example you just leave this upon then you squeeze this down then you will have the body quite easy um, that's how we do it um, the hooks I'm using for the Chernobyl lens is uh, on the small ones I'm using the partridge bomber hook that's the 8 hook, uh, the size is 8. Uh, for the bigger ones, I'm using size 6 and size 4 of the Gamakatsu F314. This one. Quite a good hook for the big ones. Today I'm going to tie a size 4 um, Chanel blend. And we're gonna do a black and chartreuse one. And also, I need, yeah, the rubber legs I'm using. I think this is from Spirit River or Hairline, I'm not quite sure, but you get this in all the fly shops around. Just a normal rubber leg. Um, I use an orange one for the orange fly and a chartreuse one for the, or a green one for the chartreuse one. Um, you can mix this up all you want. Um, I'm just gonna. There is probably a bunch of videos out on YouTube on how to tie the Chernobyl fly, but uh, well, I'm uh, uh, I got some requests on it, so I'm gonna do tie it today for you guys and see uh, what you think. Um, I have some tips and tricks on how I do it, and people do it uh, differently, I guess. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it, and uh, let's get into it. Okay. So this is the Chanel blend. This is the one we're gonna tie. So we start off by fastening, fastening the hook. Like that. And then we are going to tie in the thread. Black tie thread all the way Stop here. 
gonna have a red little trigger point at the back of the fly. So I'll be using just a red yarn. This yarn will also help me a lot when I'm going to when I'm going to fasten the foam because it will yeah it will help you to uh, make it stay more soft to the hook. Okay. Now uh, we are going to tie in the. The body. So I'm measuring up that both, the, both the black and the chartreuse are the same length. And I just trim them a bit at the back so they are completely the same length. What I do now is I put on pretty much super glue at the whole hook stem. Like that. Now I'm leaving this on the top and I'm squeezing it around like that. Bending, I'm bending it around like that. So I do a wrap here like that. A new one here. Another one here. Okay. So now the whole hook is it's covered with foam, the whole hook. As you can see. Okay. I see that some people tie it with this at the front. I'm not sure what's completely correct, but I've tried both and I think that it tangles more when you have this on the in front. I don't know why, but that's how I do it. I don't think the fish give a fuck to be honest, but yeah. Now you do a wrap over the first part, a couple of wraps, wrap over the second part, a couple of wraps, and over the last part and a couple of wraps like that. Now you have a foam body, like it's it's bulky, like a like an ant, if you can call it that. That's I guess that's the Chernobyl ant's name. It's not like a normal ant. Okay. Um, first thing now is the rubber leg. So what I do, so you can see in the background, I pinch it like this, like that, making a little loop, like that, and I'm tying in the. I'm tying it in like this. So the loop is behind there now. So make sure you don't tangle it like I did now. You wanna have it straight like that. No, I think it was a bit too long, so I just adjust it a bit. A couple of turns like that. Now the black body comes into to the picture. So you just spin up this little guy here. You just you just put as you can see, I just leave it inside the loop like that. Okay. And then the same length all the way like that. Do a couple of loose turns like that. I'm just tight, tight in. Okay, now cut off this piece like that. And you have two legs forward, as you can see now. Some people they fish it only like this. They don't like it to have too much rubber, uh, rubber legs. But I'm going to do the full part now, so you see it. What we do now is. Be going forward to that point where we are going to tie in the um, 
pull but like the, um, the last part of the fly. Now I'm, I'm doing the exact same thing at the front. I'll make a loop. I take this loop over the black part like this. So almost at the middle part of the rebel leg piece I have in my hand, I tie it in. Like that. Actually, there is one thing I did wrong now that you guys should not do. Don't cut the loop on the first loop before you do this because it's now it's kind of annoying to have these uh, rebel legs laying around. So now I have to pinch them a bit back. Oops. As you can see, it was way more struggling now when I cut it off. Okay. We're gonna have a trigger point, at, not a trigger point, but a looking point, I can say, like a lantern. So you see the fly, uh, so you can see the fly when it's dark and bad weather condition or the light is terrible, uh, etc. So a two millimeter foam of yellow is tied in. Like that. You can also put one at the back here if you want to. I think it's a bit overkill though, but yeah. What we do now is we go all the way forward, secure it like this. If you have a whip finish or a half stick or whatever, just do it like this. I do it with the whip finish. I like to use whip finish on my flip flies. Like that. Okay, cut off the last loop, and as you can see, we have a crossing. Just adjust the legs a bit if you're not happy with it, because we're gonna tie in some some super glue now. Uh, what you do now is measure up the legs. If you think they are too big or too small or whatever, you cut them out in different lengths that you like. I don't like them too long, uh, especially the ones on the sides here. Like that. I see some people cut them really short at the front as well, but yeah, that's all up to you. Um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna turn it upside down. We're gonna do it vertical, like that. And I go over the points where I, the three points where I tied, tied in the foam. And I put on some super glue, like that. As you can see, now it's completely secure. The last thing I usually do is I cut the and the shapes of the square at the foam, so I want to make it a bit more round. That helps you with not tangling your uh, tangling your uh, leader that much. So this is quite a quite quite of a big Chanel blend. This is, a, as I said, a size 4. A, se, a size 8 is like twice as small, so this is a big one for sea trout and salmon and big waters, etc. Tie them in smaller, you can tie them up to 14, 10, 11, 12, yeah, whatever. They use this in many situations in uh, for sea trout, salmon, and uh, you can use it in the ocean as well. Just strip it in. Do it, lay, lay it out there if you see a rising fish and you, it will, I promise you, it will, it will take it. It's so uh, sick when you see this fly. I caught a salmon on this one in uh, on the same color in Vefsna last year when I had a, uh, I had it in the wet fly swing actually. It was after a dead drift. Uh, probably the fish was uh, following or it was standing at the point where the swing was. Uh, and when the, when the fly started swinging and started plowing, 
I saw a big wave behind and there was a, like a 2.5 kilo uh, grills or uh, small salmon that took it. Uh, it was really really cool and a 107 weight rod so yeah sick. So uh, and uh, yeah and also guys I want to uh, give a shout out to um, Björn Nedland and Anders Nedland who is coming up with a really nice sea trout movie a documentary um, very soon uh, they are doing a fundraising at the moment and I want you guys to go and take a look at it if you have the time and the money and you want to uh, help them finance this uh, amazing project they do there is uh, they do so much for the for the community and for the fish itself it helps uh, yeah they, if you've seen the uh, the last movie from the Ferdi Fjord uh, with the minings, mining dumping, etc. Uh, it's those guys. So, uh, yeah, go in there, support them if you, if you have the op opportunity to do, do, to do that. Um, and uh, yeah, I think that will be a sick movie. My attribute, my uh, um, my attribute is uh, uh, is actually f these Chernobyl ants. Uh, I'm tying fifty flies for them. Uh, <laughs> and they call it the the world's uh, most expensive Chernobyl ant, or they ca they call it actually a foam uh, bill, or not a bill, but a foam bug, uh, skumbill in Norwegian. So the original name is Chernobyl ant, though. So yeah, we're gonna. I hope you enjoyed the movie and uh, hope you learned something. Maybe you guys do it differently. Hit me up with a comment and uh, yeah, I love to learn. How you do it so thanks for watching guys and uh happy new year when that time comes <laughs> okay goodbye